Hello everyone, I am Shamant Gowda, CSAT faculty at Insights IAS. I welcome you once again for the question of the day series. This was asked as the homework bouncer question in the last video, okay, which I am going to explain this in this video. Find the number of triangles okay, in the given figure here. Very similar figure okay, I have shown you in the previous video how to count the number of triangles. Look here now, how to count the number of triangles? The formula is n into n plus 1 by 2, okay, where n stands for the number of smaller triangles, okay, where 4 in number. So, n value is 4, n plus 1 is 5 divided by 2. So, this is 10 triangles, okay. Here, 10 triangles are there. But when I make a partition here, similarly here also you will get the same 10 triangles. Agree? Okay. This bigger triangle consists of 10 triangles here. Similarly, this half of it, okay, will also consider another 10 triangles. Okay. Now, when you come to the lower part here, this has been 1, 2 smaller triangles and the bigger one here. This is totally 3 triangles. You can count this one manually. 3 triangles you can count this manually or else you can substitute in 3 into 3 plus sorry 2 into 2 plus 1 by 2 which is nothing but 3 only okay and also the combination of these two the inverted one and the straight one consist of another two triangles here okay this as well as this this is one triangle and this is another triangle so totally that is two triangles how many triangles 10 here 10 and totally here 5 so totally that's 25 triangles and as you guys expecting we are launching the CSAT foundation course which will be starting from 7th September and it will be held only on the weekends okay only two days in a week which is very helpful for the non-science background students and also the students who are basically struggling in the quant part and the reasoning part the whole syllabus will be completed from basic to advanced you just have to attend the class and refer to the notes after that, no need to refer to any of the resources. The course details will be displayed here. Go through it and avail the course. And this is today's question guys, which says in how many ways, different ways, letters of the word pencil can be arranged without any repetition. Okay. You have to arrange the letters of this word pencil making or with or without making any meaning in a different ways without the repetition here. Look here, I will give an example. If I ask you to arrange all these three letters A, B, C in a different way without any repetition, okay, this is one of the way A, C, B, this is another way, then B, A, C, B, C, A starts from C, A, B, C and C, B, A. So, totally how many different ways? Six ways. These are the only six ways. If there are three characters which are different, okay, three different characters A, B, C, if they are to be arranged in a different, different way, make three positions like this, okay. Start filling from the left hand side. When you are filling from the left hand side, okay, you have a choice of filling either A or else B or else C, okay. So, three choices you are having. What are those? Either A or B or C. Let us say I have filled A. When you are entering this position, you are having two choices. What are those? B or C. Only two choices. Let us say I have filled C. You are left with for this position only one choice. Okay. So, if you multiply this, this also six ways. This way. Or else, since three characters are there, which are different here, three characters different. In how many different ways, if you ask? This answer is very simple, 3 factorial. 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1, 6 ways. If it is 4 characters, 4 factorial. 5 characters, 5 factorial. 6 characters, how many characters are there? 6 here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 characters. So, the answer would be what? 6 factorial. 6 factorial is 720 ways. So, the answer is 720. And guys, very similar question. I am giving you this as the bouncer. In how many different ways the letters of the word pencil can be arranged such that there is a condition here, vowels must be always together. Try to answer this question and put the answer in the comment section. We will explain this question in the next video guys. Thank you. I will see you in the next video.